Sacred awareness is the third part of the sacred series after sacred body and sacred heart. This is when you really amplify your energetic bodies so that you can expand and heighten your awareness and intuition. If you want to know how to say things, the right words to use, who to say them to, and the precise moment, this is the blend for you. If you are looking for ways to connect more deeply with people, to be able to take more risks, and to be able to express your unique and sacred contribution in the world, if you're looking for ways to share your voice, to speak, to sing, to open up your speech capacity in a way that is healing to the world, this is the blend for you. So I'm going to talk a little bit about each of the flowers in this blend so you can get a deeper perspective of what it is doing. First, we'll start with the Western Prairie Fringed Orchid. This flower is for tapping into energy system. So like you might be in a one-on-one -on -one conversation with someone and suddenly you feel like you can tap into what they're feeling or the, the exact right things to say in the right moment. Or you may be speaking to a really large group of people that you've never spoken to before and you want to really quickly ascertain and feel into what are the things you need to say and how do you need to say it so that this particular group of people will respond to you. I took a few drops of this in my water um, before starting a session with a client. So I do uh, birth trauma processing, um, childbirth education, and um, guidance as far as conception, pregnancy, postpartum, lactation go. And so I was in a session with a client um, doing some work around breastfeeding, and she shared some of her story with me, and I began to channel information that you know, I, I, I typically channel, but there was a certain type of clarity and poignancy in the way that I was not only receiving it, but then also relaying it to her. And um, she was really taken aback, you know, pleasantly surprised, but also deeply moved, you know. She said something along the lines of, no one knows that about me. I've never told anyone that. How did you know that? <laughs> And I couldn't really quantify or explain how I knew it. Um, all I know is that it was really helpful for her in that moment. Blue Penstemon does a lot of different things from speeding up the time between your ability to see fine details and big picture. It helps amplify your ability to be aware of multi-channel awareness. So you may be able to hear sharper, see sharper, feel all types of different sensory awareness you may feel is much more heightened. Blue Penstemon helps you anticipate others' needs or group needs, or your own needs. It helps dissolve fear of missing out and it helps you feel much more deeply connected with other people. Hello, my name is Elena Brower. I am a fan of Lotus Way since the very beginning, since the founding of the company, and I dare say, Sacred Awareness might be my favorite of all. I've been misting it on my face uh, maybe two or three times a day at my desk. I've been placing some five, six drops of flower elixir into my cacao in the morning. Here's what I've noticed. Uh, more warmth with myself, more empathy for myself, more patience with myself and with my family. I feel closer to my family. I feel more intimate with myself, more able to just be close to and alone with myself. I feel a level of enthusiasm for my life and for the various creative projects on which I'm working. And in that, there's a sense of warmth that I can't explain, that has now arisen and is not going away. Taiwanese Azalea. This is for those times that you really want to do something. Maybe it's in your creative life or your entrepreneurial life, and then you hold yourself back because you think, mm, Maybe that's too indulgent. Maybe that's too selfish. Maybe that's having too much fun. And this flower really helps us understand that how we express ourselves and what gives us joy is our contribution to the world. That it's not self-indulgent and that we can, in fact, engage in it because it's what the world needs. And using this, misting and taking the elixir, for me, it really brought to light some of the pieces of myself that I maybe didn't want to look at or were aware of, but couldn't really see. And taking it, both in the elixir and with the mist, you get a sense that 
Okay, now's the time to move a little bit further. Further where it may not be comfortable, but also allowing us to be able to get past where we are, maybe break open more. This is kind of a vivid example, but it's almost like, well, if your toilet blocks up, you can't just wipe the outside. You might need to actually clean the sewer lines. And in some ways, that is what it feels like Sacred Awareness has helped me with, of really getting to the depths of things. Not easy, but worthwhile. Coral root orchid, this is a beautiful forest orchid. And it's for those times that we engage in savior complex. We want to save someone, fix someone, solve someone. We want to convert. We feel like we need to convince them. It could be about health. It could be about politics. It could be about a viewpoint, a perspective. It could be even just those like tiny little arguments and bickering that we have sometimes with our loved ones where we just want them to see our way. And what this flower essence does is it helps dissolve that 100% so that you can feel like there's nothing to fix, nothing to solve, no one to help. And the actual most powerful way of making a difference in the world is to awaken oneself, is to really work on improving and refining oneself. Bee orchid. This is such a unique looking orchid and it is for being able to experience more intimacy and connection with people. It dissolves any fear of intense emotions within ourselves and within others and really helps us look at others and see ourselves in them. To see a reflection of ourselves in the other person and if there's something that we don't like in another person to be able to see that in ourselves and see how we're constantly mirroring experience to each other. Oftentimes when you have someone that you have a difficult relationship with, you'll notice that maybe you think you feel a particular way and you're the only one that feels that way when in fact the other person is feeling exactly the same thing that you are. And so this is a helpful essence to help us more compassionately understand that we are reflecting each other to each other. While taking sacred awareness, the thing that's been most clear to me has been the mirror-like quality of experience, of dealing with other people, of dealing with myself. To have an experience where judgment or jealousy or anger or all these things come up and you think it's like towards the person, uh, they've done something or I've done something, but really it's this intense Aha, uh -huh. so that's how it is because of that mirror that I can reflect everything back to myself. Venus flytrap. This is one of the carnivorous plants that we have in our collection. Venus flytrap helps us have electric action. It also helps us preserve our resources. When you're the kind of person that likes to overwork, maybe your adrenals are tapped, maybe you're burnt out, and maybe you're tired because you overwork, you overstretch, you overextend. And what Venus flytrap helps us do is pull in the resources and wait, 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 wait until precisely the right moment when an opportunity arises and then you can jump on it without hesitation. Stream Market is for opening up the throat chakra. It helps us understand how we can use our vocal cords as a tool for healing, for healing our own bodies, the environment and other people. Whether that's through speaking, singing, chanting, moaning, groaning, like you do when you're birthing a baby or when you have lots of pain or when you're transitioning um, through the death process, the vocal cords and the sounds that we make are sacred. And Stream Orchid Essence really helps us get a sense of what that is, how that is affecting ourselves and our loved ones and the environment around. It also helps us tap into different sounds in our environment that are healing our body, like crickets or frogs singing or birds singing. You may find that you notice these sounds in a more heightened sense and notice the effect that they have on your body and the environment. Sacred Awareness comes in an elixir that you can put in your coffee, water, or tea. It's a giant size like all of the rest in the Sacred series because all of these flowers are working on collective patterns. All of us have these patterns. It's just a matter of time when we're working on a different thread or pattern that's coming through. The mist. The Sacred Awareness mist is, in some people's eyes, the best that we've created so far just in terms of its complexity with cocoa, the chocolate notes. It's got mm, orange blossom and day-blooming jasmine really yummy, earthy, chocolatey, edible 
the scent, but you can of course spray it all around yourself. Oh, it's so yummy. And the anointing oil, which is like a natural perfume, or you can use it on specific acupressure points on your body. Overall, Sacred Awareness is a blend that you can use when you're feeling a little bit disconnected, uh, isolated, left out, left behind. Maybe like you're just not quite making the mark with people. Maybe you're communicating, but you're just not, somehow you're just not breaking through. Or maybe you have certain people in your life that you have relationships with that are just like, you're always like missing somehow. You would want to use this blend when you're going with the flow too often, when you're not making yourself a priority, when you're playing small, when you feel small, when you feel like your senses are dulled or you feel foggy or scattered and all over the place. Sacred awareness will help you feel in line, aligned, in tune, aware, like your intuition is heightened. And there is this incredible effect of when you're talking to people, you know the right thing to say in the right moment. You know how to say it, you know, with what sort of intensity and electricity to really reach a person's heart. It's really given me the insight on how to fine tune my receptivity and my communication. Um, so I, I really love it and I'm so pleasantly surprised and, and delighted and I, I really recommend that if you work with people one-on-one -on -one or in groups or do public speaking and you really want to I guess like tap into the energy grid um, of these people and really speak to them uh, on a level that is not cerebral, it's not socially constructed, it is from the heart and from a space um, that is unseen. And I would take this elixir and, and, and give it a try, see if it resonates with you. Overall, sacred awareness will help put you more in tune with clarity of purpose, with your intention, how you impact the world, it dissolves a sense of being self-sacrificial, of making yourself little. It helps you be bigger, and bigger in a sense of not bigger than someone else, but bigger in, in a more expansive, spacious way so that you can reach into people and connect on a deeper.